Hey guys, this week on Homesteady, we're tapping maple trees. It's February, we're having an especially warm February here where we live, uh, so we're starting this tree tapping a little bit earlier than we did last year. We're gonna show you what you need, there's a lot of supplies you might have at home. You might not even have to go out and buy much. Uh, so we're gonna use our drill. We have all the bits we need with us. We got a five gallon bucket that we're gonna put our tubes into. And then we have our spiles here. That's probably something you'll need to go out and buy. But everything else you have, might have lying around. We're also gonna show you a few extra things you might wanna use with your setup uh, to help you get started. So let's get cracking. You ready, bud? Got a new one. Oh, it's fine, fun. We're having a great day. So this here is a sugar maple. You really want to identify the sugar maples earlier in the year, whether that be springtime or summer when the leaves are in. Uh, there are a few different kind of maple trees, and not all are good for sap. So you're going to want to make sure you have a sugar maple. Earlier in the springtime, you'll notice the buds coming on. They'll have a rose color and uh, throughout the year the leaves they look different than a different kind of maple uh, so you're looking for the specific sugar maple leaf to identify the trees uh, we know that this is a sugar maple we identified it a few years back and uh, there's already taps in this from before we owned the property however old taps will get clogged won't work anymore so every year we go in and we drill new holes into this sugar maple now you're looking for a trunk that's a diameter of at least eight inches you can go a lot bigger and the bigger the trunks are, the more taps that you can put into the tree. Uh, so a, a trunk like that, we're gonna only put one in. A bigger trunk like this, we could put two taps on either side. And even though all this is coming from one trunk, that's okay too. You can keep tapping the different trunks of the tree. Uh, so we're gonna grab our drill, we're gonna drill holes. Let me see. So this is our basic setup for our homestead scale maple syrup operation. Homesteady pioneers get to see the extended version of this video, learn about our simple homestead maple syrup setup and how much yield to expect from it. Head on over to thisishomesteady.com, become a pioneer and access all our extended videos and pioneers only podcasts. So it's a lot of work for a small amount of end product, but it's a really great project to involve the kids with. As you can see, my son likes running the drill learning how to use the hammer and the end product is delicious the final maple syrup is so good and it's really fun the day when you're rendering that maple syrup when you're cooking it down we build a big fire we all come outside it's a nice spring day and we boil off our sap and we cook breakfast on top of the fire and it's just a nice event uh, so we don't really do this to save any money uh, we don't do it as an enterprise or business it's just a really fun thing to do with your family you teach your kids everybody. where maple syrup comes from and it's a nice end product to share with your friends. Uh, have a nice pancake breakfast and get a little fancy. 
So that's our setup. Now every week or every day we're gonna check this bucket. We have to take the sap that's inside of here, bring it inside and put it in a fridge or in a freezer, make sure it's nice and cold. Uh, we're gonna freeze it. And uh, we're gonna just keep collecting until we have enough. Come springtime, we'll be able to start cooking it off. So we'll wait and see what happens. <laughs>